Let's see here. Uh, Real Jamie. What's the nerdiest thing Steve has ever done? The nerdiest thing that you've ever done? Yeah. Nerdiest? Well, I started a Star Trek podcast. That's got to be up there, right? That's really up there. It's pretty high. Um, I don't know. Have you ever seen his kid pictures? <laughs> Anthony Tobias, I'm currently going bald on top and my wife likes sometimes to joke about it. Lacey, do you sometimes crack a joke or two about Steve slowly losing his hair? No. No. Steven's very sensitive. He's a sensitive man. And so I'm not going to do that. Look at that. Oh, poor Steven. I don't even notice it. I'm about like to you're taller it. than me. I'm not really looking at the I know. When head. you're six feet tall, anybody that's like average height isn't even going to notice it. Yeah. So... And it looks good in the front. Yeah, it looks fine. I'm happy with it. <laughs> so, no, I don't really make fun of them. Rao wants to know, do we go to fancy restaurants? Heck yeah, man. Applebee's. Chili's. <laughs> go to Marine Calendars. Alberto's. Marie Calendars. Uh, Only the fanciest for my wife. No, we don't usually. Uh, S8 asks, does the wifey get tired of all the wrestling? Because mm. it's really just uh, it's done away from me. I don't really. Yeah, I keep it away from you. Like I don't really. That's why I don't know anything. Yeah. Is because it's kind of done. Not I don't know. Yeah. Like he watches all the stuff here in the office, not at home. Or he'll stay up late and watch it. So I. I that's why I have no idea. Yeah, I keep it away from you. <laughs> Alex C wants to know if you were sent back in time to the medieval days with no way back, what do you think you'd be able to do with your modern knowledge? I'd be so excited, first of all. That's a terrible... No, you would not like it. <laughs> I would like it. In medieval times. you No matter what you do, you'd be a witch and you'd die. That's the problem with it. You try to bust out your medieval... Your yeah, current day you're knowledge. so dead. They would instantly call you like the devil or the witch or something and then they would kill you in a really nasty way. I'd probably do the medical field because we know like... Bad idea, man. Because even if I don't know... If, even if I just know the basics, mm. it's probably way better what they than what they know. Yeah, I know, but then you heal people who they use, are used to dying. Like it's like, oh, he's got the a cold, or he's got a scrape on his knee. He's gonna die for sure now. And you're like, no, no, just you know, clean it up. <gasps> you're a witch. witch. And then you would. I think that joke is probably true. Like you totally die. You think so? Yeah, man. Even your accent. Like, I'd be like the medicine. Where are you from? I'm from a Amer- witch. <laughs> you know, dead immediately. And then they would kill you immediately. Yeah, that's your. That's what you think. I yeah, it's definitely true. Man. I don't think that's true. Dude, you'd be dead. I wouldn't be dead. Cause I mean, what are you gonna do? Like your modern knowledge? What do I? What do I know? I know about Star Trek. That's pretty much like, it. Cause did they know about boiling water? That the water can be probably condemned? not. They're okay, all idiots. then that's what I'm saying. You would have like basic knowledge of things that we take for granted, but back then they didn't know. It would like being. It would like. It would. It would be like being a survivalist, but like even worse, because it's like, dude, I know what I'm doing over here, and they'd be like, no, you don't, you old devil, and it's like, no, man, I'm just boiling water. Oh, devil! Like, why do you keep saying that? <laughs> that's what it would be like. I don't think that's true. I know what I'm doing over here. Oh my goodness. Do you have something to disinfect this wound? Oh, witch! I'm gonna pee on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll put leeches on it and. You know, uh, rub a dookie on it. No, don't do that. That's terrible for it. Oh, witch. It'd be like arguing. It's the thing. You know how it's like arguing with Alabama? It'd be like that. They're probably all idiots. So they're all like, you know, oh it's like God. arguing with toddlers. You but these toddlers know. have horrible weapons and torture devices. And they're stronger than you? Oh, man. Just don't send Steven back. I'll go back. Send me back I'm to like okay. 1980 and I'm good. I can- no, you're not good. You don't have any medical knowledge. You couldn't. What did you? Medical knowledge? I, but I explained it. Even our basics is probably better. Oh, man. No, nah, you're dead and you're a witch. Uh, let's see. So here. dumb. Uh, Zodiac Gun. Oh, we got it this a couple times. People want to see us play this game called Detroit Being Human. It's like, uh, oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of a different one. There's like a two player one. I forget what it's called. It's like a prison break game. Nice. Uh, let's see here. KZ, how do you drink your coffee? With sh- two sugars and some milk. Yeah. Kind of a waste <laughs> of a question there, KZ. He also asked, do you prefer the beach or a pool? The beach. The beach. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, here we go. What a great question. Joshua, the dynamic Knight Martinez. What's the normal length of dating until you've officially started going steady, which Joshua oh must be from the 1950s if he's saying going steady. Is that like a, still a thing now? Um, going steady? I don't know. We had this conversation the last time Did we? about talking. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know. It just kind of usually morphs into it naturally. There is no time. Yeah. It could, it just goes. And if it comes easy, then that means it's probably good. Yeah. If true. it's difficult and it just started, then it's probably not a good match. You're probably right about that. Yeah, that's the thing. It shouldn't it be difficult. It should just flow. It shouldn't and it be should, difficult. There shouldn't be a question. It should just be what it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. The IWGP Friendoverse. I don't know what the rest of this says because Patreon's annoying. If you could try any drug without of the without any of the bad side effects once, what would you try? Once? Yeah, without any of the bad side effects. Um, I would probably try LSD, maybe, but I also don't like being like out of my element. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I've done shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know. Like, there's like what? You're is like, there something you're like, new that's out? Yeah, is there something that maybe I haven't tried? Bath salts, I guess. I guess that's where. Like, I immediately went to that because I was like going down the. Maybe you won't include that. Part. Oh, I got class party in high school if nobody knew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, let's just move on. <laughs> Same person, different question. Who is more annoying on a road trip? No. <laughs> Dude, look. He won't let... Okay, if he's driving, he won't let me sleep. Like, he won't be like, oh, baby, okay, I know you're tired. Look, you can go to sleep. No, you, he's like, you have to stay up with me and hang out with me. Um, Why would you not want to <laughs> keep me company if I'm the one driving six hours from L.A.? Because uh, you're used to you driving that. You used company. to go to school. I hated it. I know, but you should just let me, like... Chill and Why would you want to tease? Or, or I can't even play on my phone. I can't look on Reddit. He like wants me to constantly be entertaining him though the whole drive. I just want a conversation with somebody <laughs> for six hours. It's not that difficult to ask. <laughs> and then I'm like, can we listen to a podcast? And he like doesn't like any of my. Podcasts. Your podcasts all suck. <laughs> my favorite murder is just the most annoying people I've ever heard Steven! of in my life. It's the truth. They're so annoying. Like, think about the stereotypical, like, L.A., oh, I'm too clever for school people. Yeah. That's what that is. I know, but that's not the ones that I made you. I knew you wouldn't like them, so I never put them on for you. That's the other ones. Don't like any of them. <laughs> like, I'm not going to gonna name them, like, you know, because then that's rude. Yeah, no, man. Steven doesn't You're like the them. most annoying person to go on the road trip with. <laughs> And then I it's like you're, several you're supposed to be you navigator, but you're kind of slow at that too. You're like, oh wait, go left, right, go right, right, left. That's no. why you have your phone to do it. Don't trust See? me. Don't trust me. What do you bring to the table, woman? I bring conversation apparently for six hours. I know. I love you for it. Uh, oh, great question. Delete the freak of destruction. What's the best movie to watch when you're down and you need to pick me up? Um, Pulp Fiction would work for that too because it no. gets you involved yeah it gets you involved and then you're happy in the end down I mean I was going to say anything Adam Sandler but I knew you were going to crap on it early Adam Sandler's great yeah like uh, the water boy's good the golfing one is good Happy Madison then the teaching one where he's a student Billy, Ma Billy, Madison, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore yeah. those are good so those are good um, he's, he had a lot of good ones in the early days just he sort of checks out these days yeah there will be blood. That's not uplifting. Didn't they say uplifting like when you're down? Those are all like... So if you're down... What are you co coming up with? Those if you're, are not happy. If you're, if you're down, you want to like transport yourself somewhere else. And I can't think so of... To somewhere worse? No, but it's a really cool... Fl Fine, you give an answer then. I just did. What like, was your answer? And it, Like Adam Sandler. Because it's like happy and funny. Nobody likes Adam Sandler. <laughs> People do. KZ, another question. This one's better. Would you rather fight a bobcat or an ostrich? Like an ostrich, right? Yeah. Ostrich, you could just like 
I'm sure they're like, I'm sure they're probably, he wouldn't pose that question if they weren't dangerous. Bobcat's terrifying. You're dead of a bobcat. I think an ostrich, you might have a chance. I know. Like they just have like a. It's a ghost. Really long neck, I think. Or something. I don't know what an ostrich does. Don't they stick their head in the sand? Yeah. So you could just like run away from that because they can't even see you because their head's in the ground. Right. But like a, a bobcat, bobcat, you're I'm dead. Cool. You're done. They can outrun you. Like even a house cat. Outthink I'm you. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> even a house cat. Lacey versus a house cat. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, Kyle Steven. What three characters from TV, film, or animated movies would you use to perfectly describe each other? Wait, what? What, what characters from movies and TVs would you use to describe each other? You're like a really, really pretty version of Homer Simpson. The freak! Like, you think you're uh, There Will Be Blood's Daniel Plain to you. I am. No, you're more like his brother. No. <laughs> All he wanted to do was, like, party and, and take his money no. from him. Who am You're I so I don't know. Who I am I? I have it on the top of my head, but it's like really hard. Who is it? You're the guy in that that you're you're um Jack Black in Cobra that that wrestling movie. Nacho Libre? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. I'm happy to be Nacho okay. Libre. I love that movie. <laughs> I wear stretchy pants. It's for fun. I love that movie. That's pretty great. Thank you for the awesome uh, no. comment. <laughs> There's so many times that I say that you're this person, and then um, then now I, I can't think because I'm on the spot. What? Okay, let me ask you this, Mrs. Marvel lady now. Okay. What Marvel character am I, and what Marvel character are you? Um, you are... Um, who are you? You're like, like one of the main characters? Anybody, I don't care who. Oh. You're like the Hulk because you get mad real quick and like I have to tiptoe around you sometimes. I know. I have to tiptoe around well, you. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah. yep, that's just the way it is. Gosh, I can't even think today. No, you know, you probably would consider me like Captain America because no. I'm, I'm a Magoo. You are a Magoo and I don't like Captain America, but like... <laughs> like, I don't know if you're that strong. Well, personality-wise, like, oh, I am okay. strong. I have to do a lot you're of like stuff Groot around the house or something. I'm Groot. <laughs> oh, Groot's Devin. Um, no, I'm, I know. I was thinking of the guy who's in the freaking. Um, you're you're the guy that's in the in Thor, the rock guy. Kirk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the hammer pulled you off. It's a ghost. I love Kirk. Go away, ghost. I was, <laughs> I was gonna start a revolution, but I ran out of flyers, and only my mom and her boyfriend came, and I hate him. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine being Kirk. I okay. think it's great. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for Ask Stephen Lacey. Leave comments, leave questions. We need your questions. Leave them in the comments below, and maybe next time we'll answer them. Maybe we won't. It's up to us. We will. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.